Well, it's Labor Day. Just got up, and I guess it's time for coffee. Got a little treat for you today, though. We're going to make some Turkish coffee. So let's all head on into the kitchen and see how that goes. By the way, welcome to Beyond the Vortex, another episode, this time, Turkish Coffee. Okay, let's get started. I'm in the kitchen. Okay, here's the setup. And even though the cardamom Turkish Coffee is what I have a bag sitting up there, next to it is just your regular straight Turkish Coffee. I just lost the bag. But I have a... Uh, a uh, photo of of it I'll uh, add to the video so you can see what I'm talking about now here's the basic setup this is something typical you'd use to cook Turkish coffee in okay 60 milliliters of water that's all you want Now, 60 milliliters of water is, geez, about four tablespoons. So, uh, you want your water. And that's just for one cup, but that's a typic, typical Turkish or Arabic blend, Arab blend. When I was in Saudi Arabia, it was a little thicker than that. I even put it in smaller cups. Our friends gave us this, these Arab cups. Arab coffee cups. They're larger than the ones that I actually used in Saudi Arabia when I'd go visit. But it's perfect for the 60 milliliters. One tablespoon coffee. Now remember, that's going to make one potent one cup of coffee. So there we go. That's pretty thick. You're not going to be able to see that, but that's all right. And I uh, want to stir it real good. I'll put that in there for now. Okay, now let's get over to the stove. Okay, I turned the small burner on high. And all we're going to do... is get that to a boil doesn't take too long but in the meantime you're going to be stirring the whole time or most of it Okay, so we'll let that sit for a minute till it starts to boil. Once it starts to boil, I let the froth go down a little bit, then I'll bring it back up to a boil because I just don't feel like the grounds are cooked enough. Okay, it's starting to boil. It's starting to boil. Now, don't want it to overflow. I'll let it go right up to the top and take it off the heat for a minute. Now, I already put my sugar in here. There's almost as much sugar in there as there is coffee. In fact, there is. There's about a tablespoon. And that's the way the Arabs drink it, though. They drink it real sweet. You adjust it to your own taste. Put that back on. Let it froth back up again. Always stir it, though. Oh, there it comes, right up to the top. I'll do it a third time. You don't want to burn the, the uh, grounds, but I like to make sure it got well cooked. Okay. 
and there you have it. Now watch that pour. That's some thick stuff right there. That's real Turkish coffee. Saudi Arabian style. Stir up that sugar real good in there. Like I said, there's a lot. That's the way it's drank. That part of the Middle East. Oops. Got a little bit of a spill. That'll stain. I'm gonna get that up right away. Okay. Well, there you have it. Genuine Arabic style Turkish coffee. Join us next time for something else. Don't know what, but it'll be worth watching, I'm sure. Beyond the Vortex, Turkish coffee. Face in your face.